Okay, this is No One's Flower Channel. I'm here to um, help Linda Rogers uh, make a post as an update on the situation with the hunger strike concerning the Irish homeless. We're out here at the GB GPO, as you see, and um, this is where the camp was. And we have these barriers around the entire area where the campsite was. And I'll let Linda take it from here. She wants to give an update, which she can post. Good evening, everyone there that's following, following us, supporting us, supporting the seven demands, the hunger strike, Paul Lennon, hunger strike. We started on the, uh, the 17th of October, his hunger strike. Today, Paul Lennon um, is on his 37th day of hunger strike. Paul has, uh, is not here right now. Um, I've been talking to Paul over half an hour ago and uh, all is not well, all is not well. I'm hearing um, uh, some information there that's very concerning um, regards um, a lot of information that would be, um, uh, would fit into the category of uh, a man that's uh, being tortured psychologically and also uh, he, he, he's been assaulted. Um, uh, so uh, it is a, it's, a, it's a legal matter now, but um, it, Paul, yeah, Paul was taken away from here from the camp on Friday a.m. Uh, last week um, under the um, under the Public Order Act, um, which was uh, uh, unnecessary regards uh, the situation he found himself in, where I prompted Paul to um, to, uh, to to take care of uh, an unusual um, uh, uh, guy. Uh, that maybe many, uh, many, many may say, appear to say he was only, he was only, uh, you know, he was non-threatening, whatever. But uh, uh, that man, uh, as a result of uh, Paul taking my phone to uh, to ring uh, the Gardaí, which was his right and which is my right, because I felt this man was threatening to our camp here, which which I I, I know now for sure he was, because. Um, uh, he didn't hear the other half of the story when the man approached me at five o'clock to continue his pursuit of me and also to uh, to not uh, leave the area, even when I had the phone in my hand ring, ringing 112, ringing the guards at 5.10 at 5 a.m., uh, you know, and they didn't come. Uh, uh, this man, uh, uh, he lit on me. Uh, to say the least, and uh, he didn't like that we were here, and he was triggered on different levels. Uh, this man that we had reason, that Paul had reason to ring on my behalf. I prompted Paul to ring. So this man, uh, Paul is in, in, in where he is now because of this situation, right? And because of the escalation, I suppose, of his investigative journalism here on the streets of Dublin or Con Street. So he was doing good work, effective work. Um, so I'm here today, Linda Rogers, on my 25th day of hunger strike or is it 26? Uh, Paul is on his 37, so I'm on my 26th day of hunger strike. But my, my primary concern is Paul Lennon. Paul Lennon is, um, is, 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 is not a happy man today where he is. And uh, the, where he is is not a safe place for him at the moment. It's a human rights issue. I'd be, I'll be uh, uh, contacting you, rallying, you, rallying you there now this week coming week. Um, it's going to be very important for me and Paul, Paul and I. Um, Paul, uh, primarily so for Paul, because it's a human rights issue now for Paul. I have to contact Amnesty International, I have to contact many, many others regards Paul, because it's very serious. So here, in a way, on, on Friday he was taken away, Friday a.m., and um, so, I mean, I could have left it in time, but I'm a strong lady, and I continue the battle here, I continue the struggle here. I continue the opposition here to the government to demand the seven demands to uh, to, uh, to to remain to remain here to um, to be vocal for um, the vo most vulnerable people in this society to house all homeless to house Irish homeless to house children to house uh, to to, uh, to, 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 to Keep challenging. Uh, okay, so it's been it's been pretty challenging for me personally. But to have to have uh, Paul uh, not here, it's 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 it's, uh, it's been demanding. But it, and it's been challenging to be to, be, to have been put off here. Um, we say when uh, around 30 guards approached here um, in the early a.m. 7 a.m. Uh, last Sunday, last Saturday night, after a most challenging night. So. Um, it's, it's, I'm getting over a bit of shock, but it's, um, I'm coming out, coming out strong, stronger anyway.
become now stronger. So this is uh, the area that, uh, that I had to leave uh, that morning. And uh, they put up the barriers and, uh, well, I, um, uh, it was quite challenging anyway. Dublin City Council report, uh, a um, report uh, went into um, Dublin City Council regards uh, uh, the ousting of us here, which was uh, interesting. Um, so whether I believe that or not is one thing or, or another. But uh, um, a lot of people don't want us here, whether it be any of these uh, opposing left wing uh, or, you know, uh, Antifa, or I don't know who, but they, they, somebody reported uh, us to Dublin City Council, uh, which is interesting after like 35, 33 days um, here. Uh, and to last that long and, and to be ousted at that, at, that, at that period of time, that length is interesting, isn't it? Um, so. There was a protest here, I believe, on Sunday uh, at some point. I don't know what, what uh, the protest was about, but uh, we need to protest for Paul um, in, the, in the coming days. It's, uh, it's a matter of uh, his, uh, his life, uh, he, uh, protecting him, really, uh, at this moment in time. That's my, that's my utmost uh, concern. Do you intend to continue your hunger strike? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, at the weekend there, I, I've been uh, talking to very important uh, um, contacts there that will move things along swiftly for me and for, 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 the, for the demands, for the homeless, for the sanitation, to, to, get, to get toilets here in place for tourists and for homeless people, to get the 24-hour um, shower facility, to get access to sanitation, to water, to clean water. Um, to toilets, number uh, that, that's very important to get that. You know, and you, may, you may hear that as a small win. It is a small win, but uh, there's definitely um, increased um, uh, 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 positive um, uh, 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 footing in that direction, and I can see that happening. I can see that being established and, and being successful right now. Um, other elements of the seven demands are there. Um, I'm challenging them with, with the time I, I, that, that's, that's coming, that, that, that I'm trying to, uh, you know, uh, allot my time to the challenges that are facing me right now. But, but Paul is, is um, obviously um, on, 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 the, on, on the minds of us all here that are concerned. And do you think it will be brought up in the dog? I, I think so. Um, representation there, I've been promised uh, some representation there by some, some uh, vocal figures. So um, I, I pray I pray that they will come to the aid with the assistance now. Um, I respect that we've been out here a long time and that, we're, that it is quite, quite challenging. I'm, 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 I won't say I'm defeated, but I'm, I'm, I'm weakened by the assaults to us here. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're one comrade down, but we're, there's a lot more out here, you know, and I thank you all for the continued support and your efforts.